Good morning, Engineer 775 here. It's an exciting day for me. As you know, I work a lot with water projects, uh, a lot of groundwater projects I've done here on my property, from wells to springs to ponds to creeks to uh, even talking rain catchment to swimming pools to all sorts of things, ram pumps. And uh, what I'm doing today, I'm real excited about. Uh, I work with a lot of wells for people and put a lot of pumps in backup systems in and today I'm having my own well drilled on this on the farm and I'm excited about it. I've been putting this off but I'm glad I did and the reason I'm glad is that I've gone I'm going through going to take you through the entire process of what a well is and how it's drilled and the whole process in case you're interested in that for your location. Now I started um, with a hydrogeologist I've uh, developed a good working relationship. I have a good friend by the name of Lee Mitchell with HydroFinders. Later on, we'll get you pointers to his website he's working on. And he's got 30 years of experience of locating wells and springs um, in uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. Again, he's a hydrogeologist. He's a professor now, but he worked for the, the state and he worked for, uh, I believe, the Department of Natural Resources for 26 years. He's a wealth of knowledge and really enjoyed uh, geeking out with him uh, about water. I'll give you more on him later. But what we did first, we wanted to do a survey. We did a survey of this land of 55 acres and tried to determine where the best place to drill. And the locations that he picked happened to be where I've already developed a spring and where I've already drilled my hand well. <laughs> so out of the five locations, I am going to be drilling my well in location number three today. Not too far from the hand drilled well. So, because I know I've got water there. But anyway, there's some things looking at a, a topo map and just the lay of the land that I'll be sharing as prepper tips of locations where to drill. They're not foolproof, but they're logical. And, and so that's what we're going to do. So the, I'm just doing this little intro video. Uh, the drill rig's about to be here. And I want to take you through the whole process so you can see what a, a drill rig is if you haven't, and, uh, and then take you through the whole thing of drilling down to bedrock, putting a casing in, grouting that casing, then drilling down um, to hit water and getting the static water level. All the things that, I'm, that people need if they're ever going to put a pump in themselves or uh, need to pull their pump out, or maybe they want to add a hand pump to their well. Uh, these are all things I'm going to cover on this well series. So we're going to start from getting the water, where to drill, drill the well, develop the well, and then deliver that water in oh, dozens of ways to your final location. I'm going to kind of be leaning towards off-grid on this, and hopefully completely off-grid. I might still run power to it. I haven't decided yet. And, and then from the pump to your uh, storage tanks, your pressure tanks, types of pressure tanks, uh, switches, and differentials on switches, low pressure cutoffs on switches, what in the world am I talking about? We're going to go through this entire process of the uh, securing a potable water supply with a drilled well and having a good um, pumping station, I'm going to call it a pumping station to deliver that water to the end use. I'm going to try to actually deliver this water to at least two homes and then also to some ambient tanks for gravity feeding um, gardens and other things. I've already got that set up. I'm going to add to it. And so, hope you enjoy this series. It will take a while um, based on the budget because <laughs> these things are expensive. Um, but this is something I've been working towards and working with uh, for several years. I've, <coughs> I've wanted to do this. So, today's the day that they drill the hole. I'm not going to have them put a pump in. I'm going to do that myself. I'm going to go through pump selection with you and um, based on the parameters of the well, uh, pitless adapters, top discharge, uh, whether to go 12, 24, 48 volts on a solar pump or whether to do an AC pump, how many pumps can you put in a well, and uh, recovery rates, all that fun techno well water stuff. So hope this is an a good educational series for you and if I know there'll be questions but um, I can't keep up with the questions I'm just trying to put out good content and uh, and, and shaky videos of course so anyway <laughs> with my old hundred dollar flip camera this is about the best that you're gonna get 
appreciate you watching my channel and um, also excited about our new website practicalpreppers.com and I uh, appreciate the folks who have gone over there and checked it out and asked questions through that and we, we want to keep YouTube for educational and keep our business separate from YouTube and uh, um, but it is a business now that we've gotten into with with preparedness being able to take what I've learned for the last 30 40 years from engineering and hands-on uh, practical uh, solutions for um, for your location whether there's a grid down whether there's a, a storm or it's just everyday life things that will lower the power bill things that are just good practical solutions are what we're about and uh, so YouTube is YouTube practical preppers is, is that and uh, check it out and let me know what you think all right God bless you and I really appreciate all the, the, the responses even the bad ones um, and uh, the challenges I appreciate those too on um, why aren't you doing this you didn't bury those lines deep enough that's not gonna work um, you know that doesn't bother me um, I not all my projects are successes I've made mistakes I've tried things but for the most part we've done some really neat things with with water to help people and they're real happy with the solutions most of my failures are here on the farm I don't want to take that to anybody so I've done a lot of experimenting here and so any constructive criticism is is very much appreciated so you can hammer me uh, you know doesn't bother me one bit challenge me on the engineering aspects of what I'm doing I love it and uh, a lot of you have uh, really challenged me and I appreciate that so God bless you all and thanks for watching my channel